Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most powerful, ambitious, and highly anticipated Apple products of the next year, the Mac Studio 2026. Leaks surrounding the M5 Ultra and M5 Max chips are painting a picture of a device that could completely redefine professional desktop computing for years to come. Yes, you heard that right. Apple's Mac Studio 2026 might not just be a minor update. It could be a complete rethinking of what compact performance looks like, bringing workstation-grade power into a design small enough to sit quietly on your desk. Four creative professionals, video editors, software developers, and AI researchers. This is the kind of machine that could change the workflow forever. And in this deep dive, we'll explore eight major upgrades, rumored specs, design changes, pricing, release window, and why this machine could end up being Apple's biggest professional leap since the introduction of the M1 Ultra. So, let's get started, because the Mac Studio M5 Ultra 2026 might just be Apple's most powerful desktop ever. The evolution of the Mac Studio line. To understand why the 2026 model is such a big deal, let's rewind a bit. When Apple first launched the Mac Studio back in 2022, it filled a unique gap between the Mac Mini and the Mac Pro, combining a compact form factor with extreme desktop performance. The early models, powered by M1 Max and M1 Ultra, immediately gained popularity among creative professionals and developers who wanted raw power without the massive price or bulk of the Mac Pro Tower. Apple successfully proved that a small box could perform like a workstation. Fast forward to 2025, and the M4 Max and M3 ultra-powered Mac Studios are already dominating creative studios and production houses. The M4 Max gave a huge boost in power efficiency, while the M3 Ultra pushed GPU performance for advanced workloads like 3D rendering, high-end compositing, and machine learning. But as strong as the current lineup is, Apple's competitors are catching up fast, with NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel all rolling out workstation chips built for AI and next-gen creative applications. And that's where Apple's next major leap, the M5 Ultra, comes in. The transition to the M5 Ultra era. According to multiple supply chain leaks and credible Apple insiders, Apple has been working on the M5 series chips for over two years. These chips will reportedly be fabricated using TSMC's 2 nanometer process allowing for massive gains in performance and power efficiency. But what's most interesting is Apple's rumored two-tier approach for the 2026 Mac Studio, a base model powered by the M5 Max chip and a flagship version powered by the M5 Ultra chip. If those names sound familiar, it's because Apple's done this before with the M1, M2, and M3 generations. However, the 2026 models are expected to mark a true architectural redesign, not just a performance bump. In other words, this isn't just another refresh. This could be a complete evolution of Apple Silicon's internal structure, pushing performance closer to workstation and server-level territory. 1. M5 Max, the new performance baseline. Let's start with the M5 Max which is expected to be the entry-level chip for the 2026 Mac Studio lineup. But don't be fooled by the term entry-level. This chip is rumored to deliver performance levels that outpace even today's M4 Ultra in many professional applications. According to leaks from industry analysts, the M5 Max could come with an 18-core CPU divided into 14 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores, alongside a 42-core GPU. That's a massive leap from M4 Max, and reports suggest it could deliver up to 25% faster CPU performance and 30% higher GPU efficiency. This chip would target users who need serious power, video editors, 3D artists, musicians, and developers, but who don't necessarily need the ultra-tier specs or price of the M5 Ultra. The best part? Apple reportedly plans to keep the 1000 $999 starting price the same as the current Mac Studio Max. That means this could be the most powerful compact desktop you can buy for under $2,000. 2. M5 Ultra, the true powerhouse. Now let's talk about the big one, the M5 Ultra. 
This is Apple's answer to workstation chips from NVIDIA and AMD. And for what's been leaked so far, this thing is going to be an absolute monster. The M5 Ultra is expected to feature a 36-core CPU, 28 performance cores plus 8 efficiency cores, and an 84-core GPU. But the biggest change here isn't just the raw core count. It's how those cores are connected. Apple is rumored to be implementing a new wafer-level multi-chip module technology, WMCM, which could revolutionize how the CPU, GPU, and memory communicate. Instead of stacking or bridging chips like before, Apple will reportedly integrate them on a single 2 nanometers wafer for maximum efficiency and minimal latency. The result? According to early performance estimates, the M5 Ultra could deliver up to 40% faster processing power and 50% faster graphics performance compared to the M3 Ultra, oh, while using less power and generating less heat. This kind of architecture would make the Mac Studio a dream machine for AI developers running large language models locally, 8K video editors, and 3D animators, music producers using massive plug-in chains, and scientists running simulations and machine learning experiments. Essentially, if you can imagine it, the M5 Ultra can probably run it, and fast. 3. Design and Thermal Efficiency Power Meets Silence now let's talk about design. The Mac Studio 2026 is expected to retain its compact form factor, but with subtle refinements that make it even more efficient and quieter than before. Leak supply chain reports suggest that Apple is working on a redesigned internal cooling system, one that uses vapor chamber cooling rather than traditional fans alone. This could lead to sustained peak performance without the device heating up or throttling. The outer design will likely keep its aluminum unibody look, but may feature new vent placements, better airflow optimization, and potentially even a slightly slimmer profile. Apple has always aimed for silent operation with the Mac Studio, and 2026 may be the year where they achieve near-complete acoustic neutrality, meaning even during heavy rendering, you'll barely hear it working. This is a big deal for professionals who record audio, stream, or work in noise-sensitive environments. 4. Thunderbolt 5 and Expanded Connectivity One of the biggest practical upgrades expected for the Mac Studio 2026 is Thunderbolt 5 connectivity. According to technical leaks, Thunderbolt 5 will deliver data transfer speeds up to 120 gigabits per second compared to the 40 gigabits per second limit of Thunderbolt 4. That's triple the bandwidth. A massive improvement for professionals working with external drives, RAID arrays, and 8K displays. Apple is also expected to expand port options. Right now, the Mac Studio has 4X Thunderbolt 4 ports, 2X USB-A ports, HDMI, Ethernet, SD card reader. The 2026 model could feature an additional Thunderbolt port, updated HDMI 2.2 for higher refresh rates and potentially dual 10 gigabits Ethernet ports for enterprise-level networking. This might sound like small stuff, but for professionals managing multi-display setups, fast SSDs, and server connections, these changes can dramatically improve workflow efficiency. 5. Smarter Power Efficiency and Battery Optimization One of the core strengths of Apple Silicon has always been efficiency, and with the M5 chips, Apple plans to take that even further. TSMC's 2 nanometer process will drastically reduce power consumption, allowing Apple to push clock speeds without sacrificing thermal balance. Early estimates claim the M5 Ultra could deliver up to 40% more performance per what compared to the M3 Ultra. Apple is also reportedly introducing AI-based power management in macOS 26, which will intelligently adjust resource usage based on active workloads, minimizing background power drain, and maximizing sustained performance. So even though the Mac Studio is plugged in, the system will still work like a perfectly tuned hybrid engine, wasting zero energy while giving 100% output when needed. 6. Backward Compatibility and Ecosystem Integration Apple's ecosystem is a huge part of its appeal, and the Mac Studio 2026 is designed to integrate seamlessly with everything else from Apple Vision Pro to iPad's Running Stage Manager to AirPods Pro 3 for studio monitoring. 
Backward compatibility will ensure that users upgrading from M1 Ultra or M2 Ultra machines can migrate projects, settings, and peripherals effortlessly. In fact, Mac OS 26 is rumored to include enhanced Apple Silicon migration tools, allowing users to clone environments and restore complex project setups within minutes. For creative pros who work across multiple Apple devices, this next-generation Mac Studio could become the ultimate hub, the Anch, or for their digital ecosystem. 7. Potential Pricing and Global Market Factors Pricing is always the tricky part, and while Apple is known for its premium costs, insiders say the Mac Studio 2026 will maintain competitive pricing relative to its performance. Expected Price Tiers based on current models and inflation estimates. Mac Studio M5 Max, base model $1,999. Mac Studio M5 Ultra, flagship $3,999. However, there are two potential factors that could change this. Global tariffs. Ongoing trade shifts could impact component costs. TSMC's two nanometers production yield. If early yields are low, Apple may initially price higher to offset costs. Still, for the kind of power the M5 Ultra is expected to deliver, a $3,999 tag could actually look like a bargain, especially compared to workstation PCs that cost upwards of $6,000 for similar performance. 8. Release Date When is the Mac Studio 2026 coming? Now, the big question, when will Apple unveil the new Mac Studio? According to multiple sources, the reveal will likely happen at WWDC 2026, Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference. Historically, Apple has used WWDC to showcase major pro-level products and new macOS versions. The timeline could look something like this. Spring 2026, Apple announces the M5 chip family. June 2026, WWDC Mac Studio M5 Max and M5 Five Ultra models unveiled. Late June or July 2026, pre-orders open. August 2026, official release and global availability. Given the scale of upgrades and chip architecture changes, it makes sense that Apple would time this release for maximum attention from developers and creative professionals. The bigger picture, what this means for Apple's future. The Mac Studio 2026 isn't just another product refresh. It's a signal of Apple's direction in the pro computing market. By doubling down on in-house chip design, AI-optimized workflows, and sustainability, Apple is proving that performance doesn't have to come with compromises. The M5 Ultra could cement Apple's position as not just a consumer tech company, but a true leader in professional workstation hardware. It also opens doors for the next Mac Pro and MacBook Pro Ultra lines which may inherit the same 2 nanometers architecture and WMCM technology. Essentially, the Mac Studio M5 Ultra could be the testing ground for an entirely new generation of professional Macs. Final thoughts. Should you wait for the Mac Studio 2026? If you're currently using an M1 Max, M1 Ultra, or even M2 Max model, it might be worth holding out for this next iteration. The combination of massive performance boosts Thunderbolt 5, AI-enhanced Mac OS, next-gen thermal design, and incredible efficiency makes the Mac Studio 2026 a no-brainer upgrade for anyone serious about professional performance. Apple is taking its time with this one, not rushing a release just for the sake of yearly updates. That's a good sign. It means when this machine finally lands, it'll be one of the most polished, powerful, and future-ready products Apple has ever made. So, whether you're an editor, designer, developer, or 3D artist, the Mac Studio M5 Ultra 2026 might just be the desktop that defines the next decade of creative performance. So what do you think? Is a Mac Studio 2026 the upgrade you've been waiting for? Or will you stick with your current setup? Drop your thoughts below. I'd love to know what features you're most excited about. If you enjoyed this deep dive and want more in-depth Apple tech coverage, Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe because the next era of Apple Silicon desktops is just getting started.